Hi, I'm Julie Winter Pius at Remax Property Pros, and we are learning about the Northwoods one small community at a time. And today we are in the strip of real estate on Highway 45 between Eagle River and Three Lakes. Are you officially Oneida County here? Yes, we are. Officially yeah. in Oneida County, and if you drive up and down this highway, you've seen the fantastic signs on the side of the road. The Shell sign, the BP sign, the Amico sign, and probably have always said to yourself, I need to stop there and see what that is. Well, today we're doing that. We're here with Ed um, at the Northwoods Petroleum Museum, correct? Right. You got and it. we're going to talk a little bit with him today and find out what this is here and why you need to come and check out this feature in Three Lakes, Wisconsin. Ed, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at, where I am here. Well, you're looking at probably the only free petroleum museum in the United States. And it celebrates what they call the downstream end, the marketing end. The people are used to that. That's the part that you buy your gas in the gas station. And then the other museums seem to celebrate the geological findings and the, the pumping of the gas into the tanks and stuff like the big tanks. The, but we have a petroleum museum for the public, the things that you're used to having um, seen over the years. It brings back memories about people who bought gas in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and then it turned into self-serve and now it's grocery stores selling gas but back then it was service stations selling gas and that's what this is all about yeah as do we even have any self-serve or not self-serve but um owner serviced gas stations left up here other than the one in eagle river and that's the only one i know that's the only one. One dean and shelly yeah. east love they have where yep. they still will come out and pump the gas for you yep. i love the sign out front i think the sign says a dollar four for gas right i asked you that we think that was 1970 yeah right right about 1978 or 79 after the gas shortage of 1973 and people see that sign and they say dollar three where can i get that i said well we sold out first thing this morning <laughs> it's all gone so <laughs> I think I even asked that question when I was here last time. Yeah. Um, I know I, I looked on your website and it said that you have been 35 years. You were head of, owned your own couple of gas stations around the state of Wisconsin? No, they were in Chicago, they but yes, Chicago. Okay. I owned six of them for about 35 years. Okay. Yeah. And, and this then, is your personal collection of memorabilia? Right. Awesome. None of which came from my own gas stations. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I missed all that stuff, and after I got out of the business, I started buying this stuff just oh, anywhere I could. Anywhere right? you could. Okay, yeah. and then how did you pick this as your spot to display it all? Well, I live right near here, and okay. I, didn't, I didn't pick this. My wife did because she wanted to get this stuff out of the house. I had so much stuff in the house that she found the building for me, and so we bought the building so we could awesome. kind of clean up the house. Right? That's fantastic. Yeah. For all you wives out there, note to self. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Um, so what I know, uh, it's, it looked like you've had well over 7,000 visitors from 10 different countries. When people come here, what are they usually first drawn to? I know what I was, but what do most people tell you when they come in here that they're either surprised by or they're surprised at, or is there something that they're drawn to? Well, I see the signs and the signs are things they remember, the petroleum, okay. the different petroleum companies, like you mentioned, Shell, Standard, and whatever, and, uh, and then now BP. But when they come in, they seem to all remember Sinclair. I don't know why that is, but they do. It was one of the smaller companies, but yet everybody remembers Dino the Dinosaur or Dino, whichever way you want to say it. And that's what they ask about. And then they're pretty much amazed at all the pumps we have and the globes and the signs and the banks that kids used to put their money in that said mobile. So when they got to be 16, they'd think that of mobile. Money. Oh, got mobile gas. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. That's awesome. All the, yeah. Well, it's fantastic. I know that you told me a story when we were here the other day about the Crown. What mm -hmm. was the Crown gas station? The Crown, well, most of the globes were just flat globes with lights inside, but the Standard Oil Company of Indiana wanted to look stronger and bigger, so they put crowns on the top of their pumps. Yeah, solid milk glass crowns, um, very expensive to produce, but they were very impressive to the public as the fact that that's what you saw back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We saw the globe sitting on top mm -hmm. of the pumps and when you saw a crown you just thought well that's more powerful than the than the globes that just have a face on them a Sedino or mobile mm -hmm. or whatever the king of gas instead of the more king of more or less beers. right yep. yeah okay. right mm -hmm. awesome and those would get shot out and you'd have to replace the whole well, thing versus right. the other ones which were a little cheaper to fix right yeah they all got shot out on saturday night when people had guns and 22s or BB pistols or pellet guns. Yeah, that was a game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. now, now we have video games, but back then we had globes. Yeah, isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. Right. So when you owned your gas stations, like 
how often are we? I mean, would that happen frequently? You'd come in and open up on a Monday, and you'd have a couple of your globes shot out. Uh, yes, in the very beginning, uh, and the oil company would send a rep around, and he would replace replace them for you. I knew guys that in the oil business that all they did all day was on a Monday was replace all the broken globes. Wow. Yeah. They hated the idea. I bet right? they did. How interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, anything else here you think that we people should know about or anything else that you think is a highlight or a feature that we should be talking about on our video today? Well, we have a couple of antique cars in the back, uh, one of which was in a movie back in the 80s. Ooh, what movie? It was a movie called Prime Story with uh, Dennis okay. Farina, and then it was a television show that had... Julia Roberts, Kevin Spacey, David Caruso were all in it. Really? Yeah, it was on for about five years on television. Okay. Yeah. And that car is back here, and then we have another couple of cars. So, The other thing I would like to, like to point out about this space, because my dad brings his older cars here every year when you do your car show. So you oh. also do boat shows, yep. car shows. Mm -hmm. Motor, uh, motorcycles, shows. right, and trucks, right, yeah. right. Because you, he's got quite a bit of acreage outside. So when you come to the museum, you'll be able to see it yourself out on the grounds. He's got a lot of the signs outside, mm -hmm. but he will also host a lot of great events in the summertime, right, right, which are huge, fantastic for the community. And if you are a car lover or a motorcycle lover, the history that you'll see out here is pretty fantastic. Should be, yeah, right, yeah. right. Awesome. Well, I think that's all I've got. Anything else you want to share? Oh, come on down. Their hours of operation are you're open all summer long pretty consistently. Summer, summers were open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, noon to two. Noon to two. Yeah. And then in the fall and the winter, I'm by appointment, but I live two miles from here. So, so I called him up this morning. He leaves a sign on the door so he can come and open up for you so you can right. get in here and take a peek around. Never awesome. a problem. Right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank it's you. It's a pleasure. Good you guys, come on down. Check this place out. Again, as he said, it's free, and you can learn a little bit of the history of petroleum in the United States. Yep. Thanks.